I mean, it's softcore. It's not hardcore, but porn just invades everything, doesn't it? Even uh, it's kind of what just life is. E- even Instagram, <laughs> which broken. which reminds me of this. I had it for later in the show, but let me see if I can. I'm gonna play this commercial for you from Australia uh, on the dangers of pornography with the kids around. It's pretty cute, pretty funny. Um, I'll just tell you the two people that show up at the door are a, a hunk dude and a hot girl, and they're completely naked at the door. Of course, you don't see anything because it's television. Let's see if I can get it to play. Of course not. Yeah, here we go. Mom. Hiya, I'm Sue. This is Derek. It's the mom. We're here because your son just looked us up online, you know, to watch us. Matt! Matt, darling, there's some people here to see you. So he watches you online? Yeah, you know, on his laptop. iPad, PlayStation. Mm, his phone, your phone. Smart TV projector. Yeah, anyway, we usually perform for adults, but your son's just a kid. He might not know how relationships actually work. We don't even talk about consent, do we? Now we just get straight to it. Yeah, and I'd never act like I, that. I have an issue all of a sudden. That woman... Uh, looks like a much younger Deb O'Keefe to me. Which one? That's racist. It is racist. You think all white people look alike? <laughs> Real life. <laughs> oh, hey, Maddie. You're all right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they, that little boy comes to the door holding his computer and his food. Okay, Sandra, stay calm. You know what to do here. All right, Maddie. It sounds like it's time to have a talk about the difference between what you see online and real life relationships. I should have had that talk last night. Yeah, that's well, an I important didn't. one. You yeah. probably yeah. should. I didn't want to get turned on. <laughs> no judgment. Many young Kiwis are using porn to learn about oh, sex. Kiwis is uh, New Zealand, right? Yeah. No, they're small fruit. <laughs> no, <laughs> Kiwi is New Zealand. Keep it real online. Get help and advice at keepitrealonline.govt.nz. Now, who, who actually need, goes on a website to find out what they need to say to their kid? Yeah, I might check it out. You scream at them, shame them, and you take all electronics away f- from them. That's what you do. That's you what you do. That's, that's exactly, the American way. You, that's never, exactly what you, you never miss an opportunity to shame your children. Let's, it's very important. Let's do fast food fanatics. Hey! <laughs> Leading up to the lyrics. Who made you the the potentate? Be on cue. I uh, oh, this is the recorded segment. I always forget. Hi everybody. Hey How everybody. Are you? Thank you. Got my COVID here. It's about to fall. It won't look so bad when it finally oh, falls. Bob has his headphones on. Oh, Ugh. don't do it again. Okay, go camera to Bob. Camera to Bob. Look at the look at this. It's I'm a grown man light. who thinks you're going to like him more. I don't care if you if like he, me. I'm not here he, to win a popularity put, contest. Puts, <laughs> I'm already <laughs> married. Then I'm already you, married. Then why are you doing that? There could that? be a talent scout watching or something. Oh. I don't know. What are they going to oh. scout you? You're gonna. They're gonna. It could be a, a big time director or oh, something that's looking for the third most popular person. I mean, what do you mean you're not here to win a popularity? <laughs> it seems like what you're wanting to do is to be the most popular. No. Then. Oh, you still have headphones on. You might want to put your little earbuds in. You think I should? No. Yeah, I don't. If I know if I was looking for somebody in a movie, I don't. Yeah. Unless I'm ca- casting a DJ. Where the hell's my water that you're supposed to have here every day? Actually, uh, he's drink it. Actually, he's not. He just always brings me one because it's nice. Yeah, grab me one. I'm getting all dry mouth. Uh, uh, Melissa Hutchinson won the $25 gift card to Z Tejas. Congratulations, Melissa. And tell Randy we said hello. Okay. Um, well, I'll wait for him to get back because I need Chewy. This is kind of the default guy on that. Let's go to the phones. Uh, it's going to be somebody wanting tickets 90 minutes later. Hello? Hello. No, I don't want any tickets. Okay. I just have a DJ question. A, a DJ, DJ question? question? We're not DJs. We're talk show hosts. Well, talk show hosts. Okay. I DJ I, I on the see, side. That's part of your demographic problem with me. Anyway. Wait a minute. What's our demographic problem with you? You're old? My age. My, uh, yeah, kind of old. Kind of. Okay. All right. What's kind of old? I want to know. What do you think? No, I just tell me well, because I want to see if it, I'm, Okay. Uh, I'm 67. Eh, that's, I'll uh, slide in your DMs. That's kind of old. <laughs> Dude, I, 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 I'm not talking you, dude. I had a panic attack because I, I, I'm, I'm starting to get what's called uh, uh, anxiety. Mm-hmm. Even if you don't have a hangover proper, you feel very insecure and shaky the next right. day. And I started, I thought about my, there was something on TV that I was watching uh, about somebody passing. And I, I thought about my own death and how much closer I am. And I swear to God, it kicked in a panic attack. Yeah. 
crazy. Do you ever think about that, 67-year-old lady? No, no. No. But what I do think about is that I find it really, really frightening when— You have to get up and try to walk across the room. What what was that? When old men now flirt with me. Really? (laughs) Really? Yeah. You can kick. Because, Because that means they think they can get me. Well, and you don't want them to think that. No, because I like to think of myself as not that kind of old. Oh, 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 oh. So, I see. But now if a 35-year-old hunk mm. flirted with you, you'd be okay with that. I'd be okay with that, but then I'd tell him he's too young for me. So what what, what, what about a one-night stand? Yeah, what's the perfect slot for your self? Oh, 55 to mm. 60. Uh, well, great. All right, so you uh, like a hey, little. Hey, I'm in there. Yeah, you yeah, like you a little bit of a younger man. Mm-hmm. Robin yes. the Cradle. Yeah. That's, well, I don't think that 55 to 60, if they're 60, is, that doesn't make me sooner, does my, it? My sister is single because she... Uh, no, I don't think so. She has no. to have somebody with a degree, and he and has... an advanced and, degree. And his politics have to be right, and it's just picky, picky, picky. Yeah, pick. what was your DJ uh, question? Yeah, what's your question about, for us? Well, the question was, wasn't Cap in the Cradle done by harry chapin you're right i'm sorry what did matt, you say matt said uh matt said that i about said it was cat, cat stevens. stevens but i think yeah. you're confused because the name of the, sh- the song is cat it yeah. is harry and chapin can i say something else to you a young lady uh sure can thank th- you for that absolutely anyway, absolutely i'm still trying for a chance to maybe bang it out with you mm. um i'm a little <laughs> younger well than i'm 5 11 blue-eyed and blonde hair Ooh. Well, yeah. look. And we, slender. Well, so that's okay. Ooh. With your face in the pillow, I won't even notice hey. you, lady. <laughs> what? Oh, what? What? I'm flirting. You're, you're flirting. you're supposed to. I'm flirting with a young lady. You're, you're supposed to. You know how that goes. You're yeah. supposed to be the non misogynist okay. one on the show. Here's. I want to let you know that I probably made that mistake about Harry Chapin. I got to let you also know that earlier today I called a water heater a hot water heater. So it's not. I heard that. It's not my that. best day. I'm just going to yeah, let you right. know right now. Now. You ever had threesome? Have I ever had a threesome? I can't answer that on the air. That means yeah, yes. Can. Yeah, of course oh. you have. That means yes. If it was no, yes. you would have said no. no. Two yes. men, two women. Back, in my, back when I was like 24. Hell yeah. Yeah, you'd break Hell now. Yeah. Two men, two women. <laughs> I, don't I almost want her to say, I alma, I, what's your first name? I can't give you that. Uh, your, f- I, oh. your first name? Send us a picture. I almost okay, want you- give us your dancer name. <laughs> <laughs> I almost want uh, you to send in a picture. Stormy, how's that? I'll give Hell you that yeah, name. Stormy. Okay. Will you send a picture a lot of to blowing? Will you a lot send of twisting. a ch- picture to Chewy C H U Y at K L B J F M dot com? You know what kind of picture okay. we like. But I can't give you my real name. That's fine. That's all right. A lot of we people won't. know me and, in Austin. And if so. you well, and if you anonymous. send out if you send us a picture, we will not identify you either. It's my my scout's honor. But here's the thing: if they know you, do you think that it would change their? Are you worried that you're? I mean, you're, are you still working, dude? We had a guy that called no, the show I'm the retired. other day. A guy I'm won retired. a guy won a prize and did not want his name on the radio. I know people but are what, I, what I'm asking Stormy here is because she's saying, "Well, I don't." I a lot of people in Austin know me, but it's not going to cost you your job. What are they going to know that when you were 24, you passed it out a couple times? We all have done that. Was it Chewy had a good question? Was it a man and a woman or two men? Two men. Hell oh, yes. What's man, up, Grandma Spit Roast? No, I've been, I've been Roast. working to get into stuff like this. Yeah. Like, oh, send me send us a picture, please. It, Chewy. <laughs> uh, Chewy. 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 Yeah. No, 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 no. no. no Are you Does somebody buy a hold of you? I have a partner now. What? I have a partner now, and he's a, he's a wonderful man. Does he want to mix in? Does he want a little C-H? No, I don't think mm. so. <laughs> he's, one those, uh, he's one of those PhD fellas, you know. C- what is that? Mm, let me get this email address out. C-H-U-Y at K-L-B-J-F-M. Make sure you put the FM on it, dot com. All right, and we'll get to there okay. in a second, but he's one of those what kind of fellows? PhD. He's one of those brainiacs. He's uh, a brainiac. Yeah, don't, uh, listen. Don't. How old is he? He's 66. Well, it uh, sounds like he needs a night off every once in a while. Yeah. Chewy can get in there. <laughs> Do me a favor, Stormy. Uh, send it Send it on one of them computer things. Don't try to get it to us by Pony Express. They're not They're not running anymore. Oh, <laughs> damn. I'm old, too. I'm old too. All right. So you're young, you're young, you're slender, mm. you're hot. Yeah. You still got all your hair? Yes, I have all my natural hair. You, but you wear everywhere. Your teeth? Can you take your teeth out? <laughs> what? Can you take your teeth out? Chewie wants to know if you can take your teeth out. No, 
No, I have all of my own teeth. Oh, uh, that's not the way he wants it. He wants, <laughs> he wants, he wants a gum job. I'm going to say, okay? I'm a native, all right? <laughs> the loons, Norman, the loons. Are you hey. still open to stuff now that you're older? Like She's 24 got a man. Year old? She's got a man. Well, that doesn't mean anything. She's got a man. Days. With these youngins. Yeah. yeah. All right. So, he uh, wants to put it in your right. cocoon. Did we even answer a question? I don't remember. We did. Yeah, we did. Can you yes, go? Y'all did answer okay. my question. We, that it was, we need I mean, you. My thing was that it was Harry Chapin, and I knew that because I'm old. Okay. Name another Harry Chapin hit. Well, no one if can you do that. can get it, I'll let Chewy. Uh, taxi cab. I'll come see your Harry no, it's Chapin. It's not called Taxi Cab. It's called Taxi. Well, taxi. Okay. And what was his song about radio? Oh, right. Yeah. W O L D. I am the morning DJ on oh, W O L D D D D D. By the way, yeah. taxi is what you're going to be taking home from Chewy's in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> the walk of shame. I was a great Harry Chapin fan, though. So. Well, oh, sounds like so, you're a great wow, Harry Chapin <laughs> carpenter now. <laughs> he died. That's. Uh, wow. I actually have one of his one of his CDs, but I'm not a great fan. Well, that just says your age that you have a CD. <laughs> yeah. Do you like CDs? Well, that's exactly, exactly, because it's so hard with all those other, th- you know, technology. Whatever. Yeah. Hey, we gotta let you go. It's time for sit and fit. <laughs> that's a lot. See, finally, that's a reference line. somebody got. <laughs> somebody. I was a first-time caller. Uh, listen, we're gonna put. Can you put Stormy in after so we know when she, you should call more often? You're a lot of fun. You have a great sense of humor. Thank you. All right. Well, I, like I always Storm. told. I told a guy one time who made a joke about blondes when I was standing there, and I started laughing, and he said, "Oh, I apologize," and I said, "That's okay." If you can't stand the heat, you shouldn't wear the box color. I have no idea what you said, but thank you for the information. <laughs> She's saying she dyes her hair. Yeah. I don't anymore. I don't dye my hair, but um, I just told him that. Oh, because I wanted him to you, uh, hair. All you right, just, Stormy. I it. You, you just do all the hair? Long. Yeah, you do all the hair. You shave it? I What's going on? Did you even write down Chewy's? everything. You shave everything? How hairy is your chapin? How hairy is your chapin? That's oh, a listener. A listener asked me to please bring back line of the day, where we run it in a promo. Yeah, and we ought to write them all down for the week and then vote oh, at yeah, the end yeah, of the week. Yeah, I like that. Keep a book all of them all. All right. Um, I, I sure would like a surprise later to have a picture of you. I bet you didn't even write down the email address, did you? I didn't have to. I'm not that bad off. Oof. All right, wow. Stormy, we're taking you back to your room now. C H U Y A L B J F M. There you go. All right, thank you, Stormy. <laughs> thank you, Stormy. Right, bye bye. Right, I hope she calls back. We are horrible, we, horrible. She people. wanted it. Who? Who? She was asking no. for. Who's, who? Who? Who sang? Who sang? She's playing hard to get. She kept saying, "Oh, I have a boy." Yeah. She was listening to us, and she realized, like, oh, she's playing hard to get, just to, to up her. Who sang Stormy? Was that Cass Stevens? Stormy. Uh, Stormy. Mason of who? The, um, several versions of Stormy. How fun. How fun does she sound like she would she be? She sounds like she'd be a great She got time. me. She said 66, and that's my favorite position. <laughs> so both of y'all just laying down just sleeping <laughs> sleeping 66 yeah. that's just two chubby people laying next to each other but you're spooning though right <laughs> no pressure 66 <laughs> but both of them have a tail <laughs> oh okay uh, hey, that was too much fun i gotta go bye yeah okay. kfc is ditching their potato wedges Oh, they're going to go to just standard fries? Yeah. What? Yeah. I think potato th- I wedges think, are great. I think that's wise. Why? Just yeah. offer them as well. The potato wedges are delicious. Why don't you stop telling people how to run their businesses? Okay, so you've lasted this long Here's in the, the chicken Do you Here's understand? Problem, Do you and you're going to change something up like that? Do you understand like what these, you, these big corporations, do you know they have uh, testing kitchens and they do testing with testing people all right you say things. that but i just went on a road trip and i went to a McDo- uh, a dairy queen for the first time in a while and i gotta tell you right now that the fries at dairy queen a hey, they've got a long way to go and mm. it was upsetting and it was infuriating now Man, i hadn't those are had, harsh words so i always before. get the fries and i get the gravy but i had never gotten a fries just a quick drive through mm-hmm. i wanted to get a uh, ice cream for the kids because i was making them go on an eight hour drive right mm-hmm. and so i just said oh and, and order i said I need an, two orders of small fries and a, and a medium fry. Mm. And the guy said to me, 
we only have large and medium. I was like, all right, well, then two orders of medium fries and one. I mean, come on. You yeah, can yeah. use your brain and figure this one out, brother. He's working Dairy Queen, small town. Leave him alone. Here's wow. KFC. Uh, spe- wow. spe- hey, speaking of, uh, I forgot. I'll get back to KFC in a second. Yeah. Uh, thanks again, Bob, shaming me out of something. Uh, I oh. hadn't eaten in 24 hours. Well, three tacos last night, and I just said, screw it. I'm going to Pete Terry's for the chicken burger, the spicy one with the jalapenos. And I only ordered one and no fries today because of Bob Fonseca's shame. I'm a two two chicken Wait. sandwich kind of guy. Excellent, excellent, excellent Pete Terry's. And they're so fast. The one on Burnett Road, mm-hmm. I was there at 11. It was really good. Here's oh, why here, KFC here's has. They, to... they started testing new secret that's, recipe fries. That's BS. Which come dusted in the same 11 herbs and spices as the chicken. Here's the reality. Oh, okay. Hold on, let me Wait, finish. Yeah, right. I'm, I'm kind now, of... after debuting in select restaurants, the Southern style chain has decided to take the menu edition nationwide. They do that to see what sales are like and what people's responses are, and they sold more fries. You here's my I'm, theory. I, I'm changing my mind. You just cho- changed my mind by reading, mo- having more information. Let me go Alex Jones on you. Here's my theory. Most KFCs now are connected to another restaurant, say an A&W or a Long John Silver's. They don't want to be making wedges for one half of the building when they got to make fries for the other half. You of think the they're building. Long John Silver's fries? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's the reality of the situation. Long John Silver's fries are. The bomb. Yeah, they're, they are. They're good, but they yeah. get the extra crumbs. They're free. Why is it? Why Jerry is, Leach. I know. Jerry Leach. I know. She probably had bad acne, but I bet. I, but being being with a woman who smelled of mm. Long John Silver's, I'm mm. okay with. No, it it's was like, not. Mm, it was weird. Yeah. It was not. Bring those Krispies mm. home, girl. Hell yeah. They're, I eat those right out of here. Dale went out with Jerry. They're called crumbs. I went out with Terry. I still am sitting on some uh, calls from Scooter. I told Doug to only send me the ones where he mentions me. Because that's my, you know, because it, it's funny, the obsession. Uh, no, thanks, but pi- uh, P- Pepsi's coming out with Pineapple Pepsi. I might see what's up. I might uh, have a little sip. Yeah, that's marketed to you anyway. You think so? Yeah. Pina? Yeah. Mm, you what? don't think? Maybe. I don't know. When, Diet Coke since, came out with all those weird flavors. Since too. when is a pineapple targeted a Hispanic guy? Are you kidding me right now? No, I don't know. What's the thing that's more Hawaiian when you to go, me? When you go to Mexico. You ever had a nice Hawaiian punch? <laughs> when you go to Mexico, you, there's jaritos, right? They couldn't do that commercial it's anymore. Orange, no. It's apple. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It is pineapple. It's grapefruit. Soda flavors. Oh, an Art Acevedo drink with sugar in it. Yeah, you don't get rid. Re- there's not really a whole lot of people going gaga for. I mean, what is soda flavor supposed to be? When you get like Coca Cola, what is that flavor? I don't know. Coke Caramel, Coke? dirt, dirt, and cocaine. Mm. Yeah, what is what that is? I don't Cola remember. leaf? I don't remember what I was going <laughs> to ask you. I have no idea what I was going to ask Cola be. extract? The best Coke is the lime, no, the mango-flavored Diet Coke, to me, in my opinion. But nothing beats. I don't know uh, if I've had that. Nothing I, beats I'm a vanilla I might try the Coke. pineapple Pepsi. I don't know. Anything would help Pepsi. Mm. I like Pepsi. I don't know why everyone hates on it. Oh, you're like, you and Michael Jackson, because Michael Jackson drank it? And it's the I choice of a new generation. One? I think the closer you are to br- pure British blood, mm-hmm. the more likely you are to oh. have sort of b- boring, oh. boring taste buds. Oh, right. I know that oh. sounds very judgmental, but almost racist. Two things, <laughs> but uh, come on, man. You have you ever been to someone's house where they don't salt their food and? Yeah. Oh sure. Cherry Pepsi. Hey, Not, two yeah. things. Yep. Last night, going to the grocery store because my son wants snacks. He just said chips. He didn't say what kind. He likes those takis. I couldn't find them at Randall's. Because probably, cause probably so many Leanderthals were breathing on them and they wilted. Let him know that Doritos is making their they own make taki a knockoff taco and it's good. They make a Taco Bell hot Dorito. Hot, it's not a Dorito, obviously. A, hot, a Taco Bell hot chip that's excellent. Then I you ordered the Taco d- Bell. I have a big announcement. Okay. I ordered Taco Bell. Mm-hmm. And it is of my opinion, expert opinion, that Taco Bell heard the cries of Texans saying, none of your sauces are hot. And they changed Diablo. Diablo is hot now. It's mm. not. It's not scorching hot. Right. But they changed the recipe for Diablo. It's How's much. The flavor? It's much hotter. I. I it's Taco I would, Bell. I would pay. Not a ton of money, but a good amount of money. Do you remember what Taco Bell taco sauce used to taste like in the eighties? Yeah. It came in a plastic chunk, like the same shape and size as a water burger, spicy ketchup. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And do you remember that flavor of that yep. kind of taco sauce? It was very different. Vinegary. Vinegary and good. And just the yep. tacos in general were a bit better. They also used to be 39 cents a piece, and that was... Mm. Uh, caller, what's up? Hey, yeah. 
Just uh, FYI, the uh, KFC on Mainer Road. Mm-hmm. Um, they're not selling the. Uh, they're selling the new fries. They're not selling the wedges anymore. Really? Good information. That's, that's the one now. attached to. Uh, Thanks, man. KFC yeah. on no, Mainer. That's A&W. Where's the KFC on Mainer? It's on Mainer. <laughs> yeah. Mainer and what? Uh, oh, by the Sonic. By the Sonic. Mainer yep, right and the HB. All right, man. Thanks. Right there at Springdale. Right, I mean, mm-hmm. uh, I went there while I was house in play. I also uh, take all my what? trash because I feel it's like it's break time to... already. Oh, we spent all that time with Stormy. Any pictures yet? Oh, uh, we'll come back to this. Uh, let me do. Uh, you left some cheesecake ice cream. No, let's just go to Brim. Let's just, I got another twenty-five dollar gift card. It. By the way, I'll give it away later in the show, and we may do a phone topic. We love hearing from you. We really mm-hmm. do. We'll take calls. Five one two eight three four zero nine three seven. Call us after the breakers.